from my channel hope you're having a great day today so today I'm super excited because I'm getting ready to share with you a ton of different products that I think are so interesting for the holidays and as you saw by the title of the video this is all going to be about um, red lipsticks or holiday lipsticks so to me and I think to most of us when we say holidays is always a red lip and that's pretty much what I like to rock during the holidays. I think the red lip is something that is just so festive. And at the same time, if you don't have the time to just, you know, take a lot of time to do your makeup, you can always throw in a red lip and it's something that is just gonna glam you up. So if that's kind of what you're looking for, if you're curious about to see which kind of formulas there are, which kind of lipsticks you could get, if you are also curious about different ranges, I mean, I'm going to be sharing a ton of different lipsticks here that are from drugstore high-end we have different formulas we have different prices i mean we got we got it all here okay so i'm going to be showing you not only red lipsticks i mean mostly red lipsticks but i'm also going to show you a couple of twists so you just so you can have an idea in case you're not a red lip person or in case you also want to change it up a little bit which is my case for me I love my red lips but I like it more like if I'm really going out or you know at night or things like that during the day I, turn, I tend to go more for other kind of lips or if I do red then I will do it in a different kind of formula that is not so uh, bright and so bold as I have it right now so anyways I have a ton of options here for you guys and if you want to see them stay tuned so first of all I'm going to start like I said by lipsticks just regular lipstick formulas but i'm gonna go first with drugstore uh, lipsticks so i have here a formula that has been in the drugstore forever i think and it is by a very affordable brand which is wet and wow these are the mega last lip colors and i have a bunch of them here so let me just go ahead and show you real quick so the first one i'm going to show you from here it's one that it's not super red it looks more like a pinky color it's called sherry picking so I think it looks definitely uh, more on the sherry slash like fuchsia pink color but this is one good alternative that you can do for the holidays if you're not trying to do red all the time if you're looking for something different I think this is a color that is super super nice and um, this formula guys is super creamy it is very long lasting and um, Another good thing about them is that they will leave a nice stain on your lips. So as they fade off or they fade off throughout the day, um, they're going to still leave, you, leave a nice stain and it's going to look really nice on your lips. So I'm going to go next with Red Velvet. And this one I actually just repurchased because I had it but my mom took it and she loved that color so this color as you see it is a red color but it does have a little bit of orangey of orange so it's like an orangey red and it is really nice i think i forgot to mention how much this lipsticks cost but they're only depending on where you buy them it could be between 190 to like 290 i usually purchase them at walmart and walmart they're always like two bucks or 190 to be exact and that's why i always go there and get them I love them like I said and um, if you go to the drugstore sometimes they have buy one get one half off as well if you want to just save a little extra. Um, next I have the color Spotlight Red so as you can see this is a real true red color and it is really really nice. This is the kind of red that will make your lips look super, I mean your uh, teeth look super white. Alright, up next I have another one of those colors that I'm telling you for me is a really good alternative and I feel like it goes so well during the holidays with kind of like any kind of holiday look you do and it's this color right here. This one is called Sugar Plum Fairy which is a very nice like plummy um, color. On my lips I feel like it looks just like that. Like some of this will look a little bit different but this one is something that is true to color and it will leave such a nice stain i love this one to wear like full on or also just to dab it a little bit on my lips it's just really really nice and then the last color i have from this collection and is the darkest one of all is called sherry bomb and this one is like a dark vampy red lipstick it is really nice so as you see 
All right, and next I have two uh, different lipsticks from NYX, and they are the Butter Lipsticks. These are super, I mean, they have been on the drugstore forever as well. These are super nice, super buttery, super comfortable on the lips, and um, that is something that is just amazing. I think the uh, Wet n Wild ones are comfortable, but these ones are just out of the, this world comfortable. Of course, you know, it means that they're more creamy, which also means they will slide off a little bit easier. So that's something to think about. Like this, I wouldn't even wear it full on because I'm always worried that it'll get on my lips, especially if you don't have that problem, then you probably don't have to worry about it, um, just like me. But that's one thing to really think about when it comes to this formula. This one, it's in the color Mary Jane, which is like a true red color. It is super intense, super nice. This one, sometimes I wear it just lightly on the lips, just dabbing a couple, a little bit. And this one over here is the color Licorice. And um, it is like a dark vampy red, but it does have a little bit of purple, so it's more like a plummy color, I'll say, I guess. Um, as you will see throughout the video, I'm not the best at describing colors, but that's why I'm showing you guys how they look. And um, they also smell pretty good, the NYX lipsticks. All right, next I have two different lipsticks from Makeup Forever. And I have this one in the name is Rouge Artist Intense in the color 42. These lipsticks are really nice, really pigmented. They're not as creamy, but that means that they will actually stay a little bit longer and better on your lips. So, God, let me see. So this one is the Rouge Artist Intense in the color 42. And... These ones are definitely a little bit less creamy, but it doesn't mean they're not creamy, okay? They're still creamy. It is a very nice true red color with blue undertones, which is extra nice because I feel like it always makes your teeth look super white. And then the other one I have is in a Formula Artist Rouge Cream. This, one's, uh, this one is in the color C405. This one is a little bit darker, a little bit more blue undertone, and this is what it looks like right here. So as you see, definitely a little bit more blue undertone, a little bit darker, intense. This one feels a little bit more creamy, as the name says it, it's a little bit more of a cream. The other one feels a little bit more matte, even though I feel like both, the finish of both is very, very similar. And then finally, for regular lipsticks, I have a MAC lip intensity lipstick this one is another one that i'm just going to recommend you the formula and also a you know color um like a different kind of color that you could also use during the holidays this one is in the color clear cast and it is like a nice plummy color which i think when you swatch it especially on my hands it does look a little bit more on the pink side but believe me on me it's definitely more like purple and uh just like the tube and it is like a really nice formula. I do love this one as well. All right, and up next I have, up next we're going with matte formula. So I have the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Li Liquid Lip Color. And this ones I don't have it in red, but they do come in red. And that's why I'm showing you because it's a really interesting formula. It's matte, but at the same time it's really comfortable. This is one of those formulas that I could definitely go on and have it for a long day and it wouldn't bother me as much as other formulas. I have two colors that I love and that to be honest I would wear during the holidays even. The first one I'm going to show you it's called um, let's see, Sugar Berry Crumble and it is like a berry color. It is a little bit of a brighter berry color. So that's the color right there. It looks really nice. Um, you will see for the swatch that it looks a little bit light because these ones are a lighter formula. Like I said, it's more comfortable, but you can barely feel them. So sometimes, depending on the color that you have, you might have to do like two coats, but it's still good, honestly, I love it. And then the other color I have is a little bit darker berry. It's called Current Jam. And this is what Current Jam looks like. So swatched here, it looks even more like a dark purple color or maybe a dark plum. And one thing guys, I'm not letting them dry. I'm not showing you um, how to look dry right now on my hands because it will be a pain to um, to take them off my hands and everything. Even the, even I'm taking it right away, my hand is getting pretty stained. So that's why I'm not doing that, but they do set matte, okay? Very matte lipsticks. Just like the next ones I'm gonna show you, which is another amazing formula. It's actually kind of similar. I would say this ones are a little bit more pigmented maybe than the Jordana ones, and it's about around the same price as well. And this ones are easier to find. This is by Wet n Wild, and they are the 
um, Nega Last Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks. And I have a couple of different um, colors I'm going to show you. This one is not really red, but for some reason it, lo it does look red on me. It looks more like an orangey red, even though it is an orange um, lipstick. It's like a bright orange. It's called Flame of the Game. And this one I will totally rock it during the holidays because, like I said, even though I'm going to swatch it and you're going to see that it looks orange on me it looks red on my lips so I do love using this one as well and these lipsticks are other lipsticks that I'll actually dab just a couple of little dabs and now I will spread it on my lips and it's like a nice light color it looks almost like a stain but it does stay matte honestly I do love doing that as well then I have a true red color which is one of my favorite red lipsticks to be honest um, this one let's see the name this one it's called Missy and Fierce and this is it right there so like I said a very nice red color it's almost exact color like my nails right now and then finally I have another color that I would definitely not recommend let's put it there first okay this color it, it really is patchy and I think the two darkest colors on this collection are actually like that patchy so I wouldn't really recommend it if you do put a um, like a lip liner a dark lip, li lip liner underneath it will be maybe better but it's a lot of work to get it to really look nice. So this one is in the color Video Benson, which it sucks because it's a really nice, deep, vampy red color. It is super nice, but like I said, it is a pain because it is very, very patchy. All right, and to finish up the matte liquid formula, I have two high-end high uh, lipsticks. The first one is by the brand Makeup Forever, and it's this one I have right here. This is also a matte lipstick in the color, um, it's actually called Artist Liquid Matte and this one is in the color 403, which is also a really nice, really intense, um, it's like a little bit more of a darker red and I feel like on me it even looks darker than what it looks in a swatch, but it is a really nice color, I love it. And then I have next the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint which a lot of people know, you might know, and I know a lot of people don't really love this formula because they say that it's extra drying, and they are very drying on the lips. I think the Makeup Forever is a little bit more comfortable, but I just feel like the dryness you get from this, at the same time, you're getting a long-lasting, very long-lasting lipstick. So for me, like if I'm going out at night and I'm going to have drinks and you know I don't want to have to worry about retouching my lipstick, I will always go for this one. I actually have a couple of them just for that. And this one is called XOXO and it's also a it's a very similar color to the Makeup Forever. It's just a little little bit lighter but by no means it's not a light red color and I feel like they both look even a little bit darker on my lips but I do love both of them. They are really good formulas. Alright guys so now we're into the bin that has the different formula lipsticks right here and this is just going to be a little bit random so i'm first going to start with um drugstores i have this milani um what's it called milani and more matte metallic lip cream and this one's a really beautiful packaging by the way just like the other milani lipsticks i feel like these are the cutest packagings this one it's in the color matte in love as you see it's a very bright red and it is metallic so right now that it's a little wet i feel like you can't even appreciate how metallic it is or maybe in the swatch you can not but on the lips it definitely looks a little bit brighter you know it's just like a little bit of a, of a phone color actually you know what i'm gonna put a little bit here so you can see mm -hmm. even though this color is pretty bright when i'm wearing but i think you'll still see how it, ha it highlights the center part of my lips and then i have another formula which is really interesting it feels more like a gel formula and it's by Revlon this is the ultra HD matte color I have a couple of them I know some people don't like them but I do like this especially during the day when I want something a little bit more comfortable and this one will leave a really nice stain for like a long time this color is HD love more which is a really bright red color so this is something that I will do I'll wear on those days that I just want to have fun you know I just want my lipsticks my lips to 
look a little bit bold and fun or whatever and like i said it's a very comfortable formula it will budge a little bit but i just feel like it doesn't really move that much even though regular lipsticks do on me but this is okay this is something that i can i don't have to worry about it so much all right next i have two um propositions for um drugstore as well this is by elf and these are their um stick lipsticks or jumbo lipsticks i don't even know what you call this ones they cost like three bucks and you can find them in the drugstores at walmart you can buy them online i always actually get them when they have like buy, uh like 50 percent off on their website so i do love that you can always find them on a deal even though they're already still very affordable so i have two colors this one's called cranberry this lipstick though are not extremely pigmented so as you're gonna see by the swatch it's something a little bit more on the light side it does say that it's a matte lipstick um, and it does look a little bit matte um, yeah I guess I'll say it does look matte but like I said you know it's something a little bit lighter they're not very intense especially these two colors I have another colors that are a little bit more intense than this I also have rich red which is a little bit more intense more red than Cranberry, as you will see, is a little bit more pigmented than cranberry, but at the same time, it's not like the biggest pigmentation. These ones are super comfortable to apply because it's so skinny, the applicator. All right, I think all the other products I'm going to show you are from ColourPop, which is not really drugstore. You have to buy it online, even though it's drugstore prices, because I think all their lip products go for $6. But I have two propositions here for ColourPop. These are the Ultra Blooded Lips, and I have two different colors. I love the Ultra Blooded Lips. I actually, when I first purchased a couple of them, I did a video, so I'm going to leave you a little tag over here if you want to check out other colors or if you're curious about to know more about these Ultra Blooded Lips. But basically what they are is the lipstick that literally looks like you put it on a lipstick you blot and that's a look that you get from this lipstick they do dry a little bit more like on the matte side but they're extremely comfortable i actually really like wearing this for like a long day when i'm working and things like that i do love this one so this one is in the color split which is a little bit more of like a berry color they are not extremely pigmented you can build it up a, a little bit but i would say two coats is the most for me because i feel like if i put another extra coat then it starts kind of i don't know coming off or something it's weird so as you're gonna see for the swatch you know it doesn't really swatch very well but i feel like on the lips it does a lot better than on the swatch this one is in the color bit of sunny and then i have the ultra satin lips and if you don't know ultra satin ultra satin is a formula that is definitely more comfortable than a ultra matte lipstick even though it won't last as long because it doesn't fully dry 100 percent. your lips stay a little bit more like not sticky but a little bit wet it is not transfer transfer proof but again they're still very long lasting especially this color pop ones and i have two different colors i have this uh really nice red color which is called london fog actually london fog is the one that i'm wearing right now and this is this is a little swatch over here but this is what i'm wearing right now and then we have the color prim which is a darker it's like a darker um, red. It, lo it's, it looks more like a brown red kind of color, something like that. So I have the ColourPop lip sticks and I love, love, love this formula. So I could not just not mention this one. I hope this video is not miles long. It's starting to be long, so I want to finish with it. But I have um, one in the color Jingle, which is a red, really nice red color. And it's matte. And their formula matte which it doesn't really look 100 percent matte this is a matte formula that it feels really comfortable creamy and it does look just like a let's say maybe like satin kind of thing not fully matte then they have this formula that is matte x and i have this color called new rules which i will totally rock this one during the holidays as well this is another one of the berry pinky colors this is like a lighter berry color but i do love this one I actually like mixing it as well with like a darker um berry lip uh lip liner which will make it look really nice and this one's a little bit more matte because it is the matte x formula like i said so this one definitely looks matte on your lips and finally i have i know a lot of people don't like pinks for um for the holidays but i had to mention this one guys this one is in the color i heart this and i love 
this color. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I hope I didn't make it too long. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep watching more videos like this. Like I said, I do have other um, kind of videos like makeup tutorials. I have unboxings and things like that. I'm going to leave you a little card over here if you want to check out more of my content. And I'm so happy to have you here. Happy holidays, and I hope to see you back on my channel very, very soon, guys. Bye.